We're now just 75 days until the November election, and tonight Baltimore Mayor Jack Young is trying to make it easier for city residents to cash their votes. There will soon be a button added to the city's website where voters can go to complete the application to request a mail-in ballot. It can also be done on the State Board of Elections website. Well, speaking of the November election, along with picking their choice for president, Baltimore City residents will also be selecting who they want to be their next mayor. And WJZ is live right now. Paul Gessler talked to the mayoral candidates, including an independent candidate who collected enough votes to appear on the ballot. Paul? That's right, Denise. As you know, Baltimore City has a heavily Democratic electorate, but challengers to Democratic nominee Brandon Scott say they want a voice in shaping the city's future. Hi, I'm Bob Wallace. Business owner Bob Wallace will be on November's ballot as an independent. I'm in this race to win this. The longtime Republican cites the city's crime rate and lack of economic opportunity for why he's running. We have teenagers, 12 and 13 year, years old, being, being, being shot and being, and being hurt. But what do you hear from the leadership of the city? You hear nothing. An independent is cute, but at a time where Baltimore is facing so many issues, it needs a leader that's willing to stand up. And Unlike Wallace, Republican Shannon Wright has run for city office before, losing in 2016 to Jack Young for council president. The pastor says education is her top priority. Education, uh, economic development, sensible economic development, um, and making our streets safer. Wright says President Trump's recent criticism of problems plaguing Baltimore City reflects on failed leadership. The problem isn't what's being said. The problem is our elected leaders have failed to be able to change that reality. The two face a tough challenge squaring off with Democratic nominee Brandon Scott. Republicans the past five mayoral elections have topped off at 13 percent in the general election. If you contrast and compare, you will have to say this guy is a better option for us right now. Nothing against Brandon Scott. We'll treat this campaign the same way we treated the, the, the primary campaign. We're going to take it very seriously, but again, focusing in on how we can move Baltimore forward. David Harding will also be on the ballot representing the Working Class Party. Election Day is November 3rd. Reporting live in East Baltimore, I'm Paul Gessler for WJZ.